What is happening? Steve here. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk about how a housing crash could essentially get you out of the rat race and into financial freedom. If the market goes down enough and you guys are smart and strategic with both money and debt, you guys in a short period of time could get out of the rat race. So right now, if you're working in a job and you need those monies to basically pay your bills, you're kind of, you're working for the man. You, you, you're kind of handcuffed in what you're doing. And hopefully you guys are in a job that you really like and enjoy and the money is just a, a bonus or a benefit. But um, the last crash was an opportunity for me to reset because I had high bills. I was doing a lot of the wrong things with money and I wasn't investing correctly and I knew I needed to change things and I changed things pretty quickly in a short period of time I was able to pay off my home where I live and I know a lot of people will say look you know if you pay off your home and you had a cheap uh, interest on, on your loan then you can make more money because you have that money in your pocket to go ahead and invest in something else and then have that spread between the mortgage rate that you have on your house and what kind of return you can get on another investment. I think of it a little bit differently. I look at it like the house that you live in is your foundation. And if you can eradicate the debt on that and you keep all your other bills relatively low and not have any other debt like car debt or any other debt like financing a boat, um, then you're able to stack even more money to go ahead and invest, but also becomes a, a mindset thing. And I did another uh, video on the ben benefits of basically having no mortgage on your home. And it's very powerful. It's very powerful for your mindset and allows you a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom of time, a lot of freedom of choice, a lot of freedom of choice for a new career, side hobbies, uh, you know, a side hustle and so forth. So if, you guys are being conservative right now and in not in a rush to buy a home to live in there might be a prime opportunity for you to get a hell of a deal on a house and that hell of a deal on a house even if mortgage rates are higher and let's say you locked into a 15 year term and you just aggressively just threw money at it but the price of the home was relatively low and every month you're throwing more money on top of that mortgage to get it paid off and you get that thing paid off in 10 years, 8 years, 4 years, who knows? You might even be able to be in a cash position just to pay cash for something modestly to live in while you begin growing your wealth. And I think that opportunity is coming. I think we're going to see a lot of opportunities in the housing market and I know right now your market you might be saying you know it's crazy expensive maybe you're in an area in California or Naples Florida where you're like dude the the house that I would want would be you know a million bucks good luck paying that off then that's the situation that you're in it's the area that you're in that doesn't mean you have to stay in that area and I know other people that are getting out of certain states and certain areas and they're taking control of their own destiny. And I think it's important to look at all options. And unfortunately, I don't, curious as to what the statistics are in terms of people who are born and raised in the area and they just stay in that area and they feel that they're locked into that area. But I've always been of the mindset that change is good. It helps with growth and even uncomfortable change is good. And I think when we get uncomfortable, we learn a lot and we fail from certain change as well, but then we learn from that failure and then figure out how that relates to your life. And like I said in other videos on this channel, sorry, I'm sweating like a beast here in Southwest Florida. It's, it's hot, but it's a beautiful day. I mean, the water's nice out here. You got boats cruising by. It's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna try to sit down in this dock right here and I get a splinter in my ass. So, the opportunities I think are 
coming. And if you guys are in a good cash position, if you guys are keeping your credit really high, if you guys are studying the real estate market, there's gonna be opportunity that you can do, I mean, literally within 48 months from start to finish, I was free and clear on my primary residence and I was working on my next investment and, and had another investment already free and clear as well with my sister, a, a joint investment in commercial property. And I, I wish back then I was more prepared because I wasn't. I was not, I was far from being prepared, but I pivoted and I adapted quickly. And there were so many deals that I was calling everybody I possibly knew. And I'm like, you need to buy this, buy that, buy this. And the reason why I was so adamant with certain people too, people that trust me, I was like, the cost to replace this same asset is like a third. So the price is like a third of what it costs to replace that asset. And I think that we're gonna see distress assets. I think we're gonna see people who over leveraged, even with people that have 30 year, 15 year fixed at like two and a half percent fully amortized loans. I think we're gonna see people in trouble because when property values go down, a lot of those people put three and a half percent down. And when property values start to stagnate or start to go down, then people are underwater. And it doesn't matter their interest rate. They're underwater and if they have to sell, so if they run in a situation where they have a job relocation or they have a death in the family or a divorce and they have to sell, and it happens, people have to sell, then they're gonna put their house on the market or they're gonna call a real estate agent to get an idea of what the value for that property is and maybe it's the same value what they paid for but then there's closing costs associated with it as well and i think that uh people are gonna have to come to the table to check at closing or they're gonna uh, they're gonna have they're gonna be in a short sale position and also if you're a real estate agent we listed hundreds and hundreds of real uh, short sales and I did a full course on this. I put the link in the description for you guys too um, because it's an opportunity to help out a lot of people as well to avoid foreclosure. But I think they're gonna come back. They're not here right now, I'll tell you that. I looked in my home last the other day, there was like one, one or two short sales uh, for sale in the local MLS. There's like five uh, REO properties, five foreclosures. Um, so there, there wasn't many, but the, the tides are turning just like this. The tides are always shifting and it's important to pivot, adapt and be ready. So if you guys are ready, keep an eye on this channel. If you're not a subscriber already, you, you might want to consider it because I'm going to bring you through some of these properties. I'm going to bring you through foreclosures that we're going to be bidding on, short sales that we're going to write offers on. I'm going to bring you through the whole process of a short sale, how it works, how to get a edge up on the competition from other investors because there's a lot of other investors out right now in the market. Well, not in the market. <laughs> I know other investors that are standing by with a lot of cash and they they're just waiting and these are the same investors that did it last time so what people don't understand if you haven't lived through any kind of recession or um, any down moments in any market markets always go up and down look at this snook I don't know if you guys can see that guy. It's huge. Got more of them down here. Got our crab trap down there. Look, look how big he is. He's a monster. It's not snook season right now, so we can't eat these guys. Um, 
Anyway, guys, I think uh, be prepared. Watch more of these videos. I gotta get a shower or something. I'm sweating like a beast. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next one.